Hello again folks, Mel here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Just thought I'd show you this new guitar I bought. I wanted a strummer just to leave lying around the house. Save me getting the tangle wood out of the case because I can't be bothered. Usually I don't play a lot of acoustic so I bought this hoping it might encourage me to pick the acoustic up a bit more. So this is a cheap Yamaha F310 very popular kind of beginners acoustic guitar and I have worked on a few of these over the years and when they've had a decent setup they're not bad little guitars if you are thinking of getting a cheap acoustic guitar and you get thinking of getting one of these though I will say from the get-go that you probably going to have to have a bit of work done on it or do the work on it yourself if you can so I just thought I'd tell you what I've done to this guitar to get it into its present playable condition so when I first got the guitar the first thing I did was check the neck the neck was almost straight but not quite and it had a bit of a nut bow in it which you never want a uh, little bit of back bow with some relief in the middle's fine but you never really want a hump in the middle this just had a very very slight hump in the middle that meant I'd got no gap between the top of the first fret and the bottom of the string or hardly any gap it, it, there, was, there was a very minuscule gap that was getting a bit of rattling and buzzing so I, I checked the nut then and the nut on this is cut really low I'll try and show it you I don't know if I'll be able to show it you but we'll see if not I'll take a photograph of it so this nut here you can probably see there's hardly any material on this high E side at all now I haven't touched the nut I haven't taken it off or anything I haven't sanded it down so that that is cut too low for me personally I don't like the look of that uh, I'm not too concerned though because I will be putting a bone nut on this guitar and a bone saddle and bone bridge pins but I need to order those so I will be changing these out anyway but putting the relief in the neck, adjusting the truss rod, loosening it, just got me that bit of gap here. Because before, when I was holding this third fret down, I'd got no play whatsoever when I tapped the strings at that first fret. Whereas now I've just got a little bit of bounce, which is what you want. So it's all right, the open strings are playing out, ringing out now. I'd just like a bit more wriggle room with that so once I'd done that I then looked at the action up here and it was really high at the 12th fret it was very very high double what it should be uh, and I've managed to get it down to about on the base side about four and a half five sixty fourths which is sort of standardish, and about three and a half to four sixty fourths on the high E side, but I'm pretty sure I can get that down another sixty fourth of an inch because I've still got plenty of material on this saddle. Now I actually filed some of the bridge material off because I knew I was going to be taking something off that saddle. And I didn't want to take too much material off the saddle because you still need to retain a bit of a brake angle over the back of that saddle. So I have filed the saddle down marginally but not much and I reckon I can still take another two sixty fourths off that saddle which should lower the action by another one sixty fourth of an inch. The guitar should play really nicely then. 
should be like but uh, this has got 12 gauge strings on it as well uh, now I normally put 11s on my acoustics sometimes I might even put 10s on so I reckon by lowering that action a little bit more if I put 11s on this I'll have a really nice easy to play acoustic guitar I got this one from the Yamaha store on Amazon and I've checked this morning and at the present time they're £155 which is not a lot to pay for a branded acoustic guitar I'll leave a link in the description below to that Yamaha store on Amazon if anyone's interested in getting one of these if you are thinking of getting one if you do buy it through that link in my description I will get a tiny tiny little bit of commission uh, which will help me out help me to carry on making these videos but yeah not a bad little acoustic guitar all things considered so anyway quick one there for you today I'll be back next week with another one please remember subscribe to the channel for me if you don't mind if you're not already subscribed and uh, I'll be back next week. Until then, take care of yourselves and bye for now.